everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna to share with you three easy dump and go recipes that anyone can make. So uh, my name is Kristen. And I'm Camille. And today we're making some Instant Pot buffalo chicken wraps and then some 15 bean soup in your Instant Pot. And last, we're going to finish up with some chicken burrito rice bowls. So these recipes are quick and easy and dump and go, which is our favorite. Yes. But they're also healthy. So if you're trying to be a little bit healthier this year, these are the perfect recipes. Yep, you can feel you. good about feeding these to your family. Exactly. All right, if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. All right, so the first recipe we're gonna make is our delicious bean soup. Yep. Have you ever had bean soup? Yes. This is, it's so hearty, it's full of fiber, which everybody <laughs> needs more fiber, right? Especially in January. So, yeah. So we're gonna show you just how easy it is to make this recipe. Yeah. So should we start with our beans? You wanna tell them about the beans? Yeah, okay, okay, so you can just get these at the grocery store. I've seen them at all grocery stores. It's just a bag full of 15 different beans and it's specifically for 15, 15 bean soup. soup. So the brand is Hearst's, so you'll have to check that out. But we're gonna pour that right in, right? Yeah. yeah. And I found this at Walmart. You can find it at Kroger or really yep. any grocery, any grocery store. Near store. You. you can also get it on Amazon. Okay. okay, then I'm gonna put the vegetables in if that's okay. Yep, dump So them we on have in. one red pepper we chopped up, one onion, and then, oh, half an onion? onion. The whole onion. Un whole onion, sorry. And then two stalks of celery. Yep. So just, ooh, try and get it in <laughs> the best that we can. Doing good. So this is our mom's kitchen. I don't know if you guys knew that. So remember, I moved from Sacramento and we're building right now in Logan, and I usually have like these bendable, um, cutting boards that I used to use all the time. And so being in my mom's kitchen, I'm, I'm getting used to her thing. Yes, so. you'll be back in your I own will. place. It's soon coming, enough. it's coming. Okay, what else do we got? Okay. Um, Should we do the carrots? Yeah, let's do carrots. So just a cup of carrots. You can use like a large carrot and chop it up or mm -hmm. just dump some baby carrots in. Whatever you have in your fridge works great. We're quick and easy, so yep. baby carrots today. Yep. All right, and then about a teaspoon or so of minced garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or like two garlic. Cloves. Cloves. Yeah, if you've got that. And then we're gonna do a whole box of chicken broth, which is four cups. So I'll dump that in. And then as soon as I finish dumping this out, I'm gonna go fill it up with water and add four cups of water. Nice. It's just a quick and easy way to measure it and you don't have to use anything else. <laughs> Measuring cups. Measure. Right. So I'll get that filled up. You fill that up. I'm gonna do the can of diced tomatoes. And you're just gonna leave the liquid in there because you want obviously liquid in with your soup. So good there. All right, now we're kind of getting to the spices a little bit. So, oh, we'll wait for her. We'll oh, wait for her to dump do this her in. water. Yep. Nice. The thing I like about this soup is it's so colorful with the beans yes. and then the vegetables in there too. I sometimes, I've thrown in green peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, like ah. if, that, if I have that on hand, and they, I'll toss they that in. They cook all mm -hmm. well together that totally. your kids won't even know that there's extra stuff in there. Yep. So. Okay, so now we're gonna do two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Oops. You know what, I don't think anyone's confident in how to say no. Worcestershire. And I know that I'm gonna get a lot of comments on that, so How do you me. say it? How do you say it? <laughs> right? If you could write out the pronunciation, that'd be great. That <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should Google it and listen to listen, how. Listen, listen. Alexa it depends says it. on where you live. It's different. Like yes, I've had so many totally. people tell me, like you're saying it wrong. This is how we say it in yep. Alabama. Sorry. Here's another one. Cumin. Cumin. Or is it cumin? No. Some people say cumin. It's cumin. Tell me what you say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Okay. Then we have one tablespoon of. I'm gonna use your same tablespoon. Yeah. If that's okay. If you guys don't remember these, we talked about magnetic tablespoons. They're my favorite. They're the and because there's and both there's them. Two. Oh. oh, brand new. Brand new. Okay, so liquid smoke. Whenever I put a recipe on with liquid smoke, people always say, where do you get it? It's by the barbecue sauce at the grocery <sighs> store. It's only like a dollar or two. It's one of the best purchases you can make. It adds such like a depth of flavor. And I always add a little bit extra. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite. It is. It's so good in this, too. Yeah. This is a vegetarian soup, but sometimes I will add in some diced ham. Oh, that, oh, that would like, be Like, ham really complements good. the beans really well, I feel like. So nice. If I have leftover ham from like Christmas or Easter. Or, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. All right, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of dried parsley. If you wanted to, you could do fresh parsley, too. 
Mm. Might have to do a lot though to get that flavor because the flavor of dried is so much more concentrated. It is. It is. All right, and then I have some chili powder. We're just gonna do two teaspoons there also. And then just some salt and pepper to taste, right? Yep. Okay. Sprinkle these in. You can always add more after it's done cooking as well. Nice. We'll go crazy. I like it. <laughs> I always need salt. Okay, now we're just gonna mix it up a little bit, make sure the spices are in there. So, I made something the other day and I didn't mix my spices in very well, and the spices like blew up all over the top of the lid. So, <laughs> learning lesson. And lesson. Gonna yeah. mix in my dry spices a little bit better. What than size of instant pot is this? So this is a six quart. All the okay. recipes we make, we make with a six, six quart because it's. And this fills right up to the max line. I noticed. Yes, yes. Which you don't want to go above that. I learned. No, you do not. It causes some explosion. But if you're cooking with the three quart, you want to split this recipe in half. If you're doing the eight quart, you can just make it normal too. So. Cool. Okay. So now we're gonna put the lid on. Okay. And backwards. There we go. <laughs> I like it. It's fun. Okay, she set the little knob to sealing, yep. not venting. Okay, so we're gonna push the pressure cook button or the manual button, depending on whatever instant pot you have. And then we're gonna go up to 45 minutes because we need to cook those beans. But dry beans for 45 minutes is not bad. It's really at not. All. Oh my gosh, in a slow cooker, that'd be like. 12 hours. Exactly. All right, we're gonna let this sit here for a little bit and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so our 15 bean soup is now done after 45 minutes. So I'm okay. gonna push this venting knob. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty venti. <laughs> okay, so pin dropped. Pins dropped, we're good. Open her up. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of soup. soup. It is. Yeah, this is a That's good one. That's gonna last you for a few <laughs> days. Feed the masses. <laughs> yep. And like we talked about, if you had leftover ham, you could easily throw it in here. That's a great idea. It's a really, like it complements the flavor as well. You ready? Yes. I love all the colors, like all the different beans and I'm stuff. I'm telling you, it's mm -hmm. such a pretty soup. That is a good soup. That is a good soup. Perfect. Nice. You gonna dive in? Yes, I am. <gasps> Mm, that was good. It's good. Huh? Beans are good. Yeah. I like the beans. And enough. it's just got a really good, like the broth has a really good flavor. Yes. It's yes. hearty. It's thick. Perfect on a cold night. I love it. Yeah. All right, guys, we're done with this recipe. Now on to the chicken burrito bowls. So I'm not going to touch the chicken. We're just going to dump it in. <laughs> That's what I love about using frozen chicken. You don't have to touch it. Just dump it and go. In. Yep. So we have, we have four chicken breasts in there, but you can have three if yeah. you want to. So. Yep. All right, next you wanna add garlic in for me? Yep, so we've got like two cloves of garlic for about a teaspoon. Nice, you're using that. Okay. And then cumin, cumin, however <laughs> you wanna say it. Uh, we got two tablespoons of this, and I love this and chili powder together is like two of my most favorite things. It's perfect for Mexican recipes, I think. Those are the best flavors yes. together. Ugh, if I can get a it. A little more. Here we go, here we go, there <laughs> we go. All right. Okay. So two of that and then two chili powder. You wanna do it? Yep. Awesome. Oh, that was a little easier to pull out. Yeah, this one out. isn't so packed. <laughs> and, uh, whoops, that one might have a little bit extra. Just a little bit of spice. It's gonna have a kick. Mm. Okay, so next we're gonna add a half a cup of brown rice. Okay. So we're gonna actually put it kind of in the bottom so it will be covered with the liquid. All right. Could you use a different kind of rice if you want? You could, you could. Kay. It will cook a little bit longer because brown rice takes about 25 minutes to cook and that's how long we're gonna be cooking this for. Okay. So, that'll be good. All right, well I'm gonna dump in a can of black beans. They've already been rinsed and drained. So, oh, okay. there's that, that's loud. Nice, you wanna do the tomatoes too? Yep, and so this is just a can of diced tomatoes. Dump that right on top. And then about a cup and a half of chicken broth. Yep. And we're just gonna eyeball it not quite half, but a cup and a half. Close okay, enough. cool. All right, so lid can go on. Lid is on. All right. Now, the thing about this recipe is that it's the burrito bowls, chicken burrito bowls, and so after this cooks, that's all the good stuff happens after it's done cooking. Okay. So, okay. Are you ready? Yep. So this is a different kind of instant pot that we're using. It's we're gonna make sure this little knob is turned to sealing. Yep. Then. Go ahead and push the manual button or the pressure cook button, whatever your Instant Pot has. 
And then because it's frozen, we're gonna go up to 25 minutes. There we go. And after a few seconds, it will say on. That means you did it right and you can just walk away. <laughs> All right, when this is done, we'll come back. Okay, so our chicken is done in the Instant Pot. We already vented it. Yes. We already let the spray fly. No, it really wasn't bad. It was just steamy. Okay. All right, so now. Shred the chicken. Okay. I'm gonna give you I'll that job. I'll pull this out. Okay. Oh, there we go. So this chicken, you really could use it for so many different things, right? Right. Any Mexican right. tacos, burritos, uh, nachos, like. Whatever you feel like. Exactly. But what are we doing with this? We're today? doing a little bit healthier today, so we're gonna put it on some lettuce or salad, okay. whatever you want. I like it actually on spinach is my favorite, but Ooh. we're gonna use like the romaine today. So perfect. Awesome. So once you shred the chicken, then you're gonna throw it back in there and get all the flavors and yeah, stuff on the chicken. This is pieces. really good. Yeah. Juice. And there's and the rice is in there. Rice and beans okay. and all the good stuff. I'll hurry and finish shredding this up. All right. Chicken's all shredded. Now it's really good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use the slotted spoon. Is okay. that okay? Oh yeah, I'll just sure. Get some beans, get some chicken and rice, all the good stuff. Sometimes when we make this, I will make salads for my husband and I. Uh huh. But the kids will make like quesadillas oh, with it. Oh, that's a good like, idea. Wrap it in a tortilla because okay. that's so much easier for them to eat. Right. Yep. Okay, so now we just add the good stuff. All on. your favorite yep. toppings. Okay. And you can add whatever you want. So what? sour cream. Let's see, first we'll add. We're gonna make this look pretty. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of tomatoes. A little bit of cheese. Cheese. Yes, I can do cheese. Okay. I'm gonna use your fork to get out some salsa. Go for it. Okay. My husband likes to put jalapenos on it just Ooh. for like an added kick. I would love that. So that's a good addition. And I love like the guacamole stuff too. Oh yeah, guacamole. Um, corn, I love corn. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. All right, guys. Super simple, easy, healthy. I mean, if you even take out the sour cream, it's still super healthy, so. All right, so this recipe is our buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. You can also wrap it in a tortilla if you don't want to wrap it in lettuce, but it's super good, full of protein, and so easy. And super healthy, too. Yeah. Right? That's what I love about Like it. this one that I feel really good about. This is a great one, too, to make for lunch. Like, nice. if you need a quick and healthy lunch. So, we've got three frozen chicken breasts. We're just gonna dump them right in. Awesome. Okay, then we got two cups of chicken broth. Now, I love these. It's usually four cups, so. Yeah. We just, just kind of guesstimated and half of it. Perfect. Okay. All right, should we put in the vegetables there? Yep, so we've got one stalk of celery and half an onion. Nice. So toss that all in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, wanna do the garlic for me? Yeah, just a little bit of garlic. Nice. So just like what, one clove? Yeah. Okay. Do a little bit extra. Okay. And then I have just a half a cup of Frank's hot sauce. You can use yep. your favorite kind of hot sauce or buffalo sauce, but I right. like. You were saying you like Sweet Baby Ray's. Yes. So if so you have good. a favorite, let us know. I've only ever tried Frank's, but so apparently I need to branch good. out. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Okay. That was easy. Mm, and it smells so it good. It does. I love hot sauce. Let's see. This should not be that hard. Good. Lid on. She, her little knob went to sealing, nope. not venting. Now we're going to um, go ahead and push the pressure cooker manual button. And then because it's frozen chicken, we're gonna go to 25 minutes. If it was thawed chicken, we could cook it for about 20 or so. But okay. frozen, 25. All right, after you set the timer, then you can just walk away. So it's the you're best. good to go. <laughs> all right, when this is done, we'll show you how it looks. All right, buffalo chicken is all done cooking. As you can see, it's been done for about three minutes. So I'm gonna have Camille do the little quick release. You ready? Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> So a little pin went down, so you can Let's open it up. <laughs> awesome. So just gonna pull out the chicken breasts and we'll get them all shredded, right? Right. Okay. So we'll just use two forks. They fall right apart. Awesome. Yep, you can tell they're super moist. Nice. Too. Looks I good. feel like chicken in the instant pot is more moist than in a slow cooker. I agree. I, I feel like the slow cooker on low kind of dries them out. Yeah. But the Instant Pot's good. Yeah. 
Could you use chicken thighs in this recipe? Totally. I bet that would be good too. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Awesome. And we can just dump it right back in. Yeah, dump it back in so we can have some sauce stuff. Okay. Mm. So chicken is all done. We shredded it all. Now we're gonna just make some delicious lettuce wraps. Yep. So we're gonna put them on the plate here. Okay. I'm gonna let you kind of dish up and then all right. we'll- Do you want three? All three? Yeah. I know. I love this, like if you're looking for a low carb option, it's just another way to get in. Good source of proteins and vegetables, but you could easily put this in like a wrap, um, like a tortilla or like a spinach wrap would be super good. They also have low carb tortillas, so. Really? You could look into that too. I heard they had like cauliflower tortillas. What? I've, I've never heard of them, but. Me neither. Need There's to look a, into that. a girl at my husband's work that brings them every day, so. Yum. I know. Okay, so you can add some more hot sauce on top, like yeah. the Frank sauce, um, but we're just gonna leave them just like this. So I'm gonna add a little bit of shredded carrots. Yep. Just add a little more like veggies the, on there. Yeah, right? the color that adds, and yeah. then also the crunch. Like I love the crunch. It's mm -hmm. good. Yep. And then just a little bit of celery too. Now if you're feeling really fun, I'm the same way. I love ranch. I do too. I love ranch. Ranch on everything. And like the buffalo sauce yep. stuff. All right. Do you want to squirt some on there? Yeah. But yeah, you could totally do some more buffalo sauce on here too. That's what my husband always does. He likes it with the ranch, so. Me too, me too. Cool. Awesome. All right, guys, if you loved these dump and go recipes, don't forget to check out our other four dump and go recipes that are super easy and simple. You're gonna love them. All right, we'll see you guys next time.